Now, this week, Donald Trump released his own ad uh, on his social media. Let's have a little look at this. We are a nation that has the highest inflation in over 40 years. We're a nation that has weaponized its law enforcement against the opposing political party like never before. We've never seen anything like this. We're a nation that no longer has a free and fair press. Fake news is about all you get. We are a nation where free speech is no longer allowed, where crime is rampant like never before, but soon we will have greatness again. It was hardworking patriots like you who built this country, and it is hardworking patriots like you who are going to save our country. I'm showing my age a bit because it feels a little bit echoes of the Reagan Morning in America campaign coming out of the disastrous Carter administration. This is, I reckon, the biggest sign that he's going to take on a 2024 run. Um, would you say that this pretty much seals the deal? And if you were Ron DeSantis, what would you be thinking right now? Well, I can tell you what DeSantis is thinking because I've been getting mail from him. He has been supporting the president um, because of this raid. So you're looking at, you're talking about somebody who you know, like I said, four or five days ago, was probably contemplating a race uh, against Trump. I think those chances have gone down dramatically. It's a very powerful ad, James. It, it just is. Is it an announcement? I don't think so. Could any Republican say those same words and still get support? They could, but Donald Trump is a unique sort of messenger, um, and it wouldn't surprise me um, if if he runs. Um, again, I just think it's more likely now than it was a couple of days ago, which is probably not what the Democrats had in mind. No, I think you're right, Mick. No, I, think I think this is going to go down as one of the great own goals in political history. Mick Mulvaney, thank you, as always, for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much.